Back on the right stand with the focus turned out towards the Russia-Ukraine conflict that's entering our country. And as this conflict continues, China President Xi Jinping is in Russia and he's met with Vladimir Putin, the Russian president. And according to reports, Xi Jinping has proposed a peace deal to Russia and both leaders held discussions on the proposal. However, experts suggest this meeting comes ahead of Vladimir Putin's fresh offensive in Ukraine to secure his military holdings as NATO continues to arm Ukrainian forces. Now, on the other hand, Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida is in Ukraine to show solidarity with Volodymyr Zelensky. This is Kishida's surprise visit to the war-torn nation. News is coming in. And after proposing the peace deal to Russia, China President Xi Jinping has now invited Vladimir Putin over to China. Joining us is Dr. Tara Karta, former Director, National Security Council Secretariat. Dr. Tara Karta, sitting in India, what's the India view of whatever is happening right now? Should we take Xi Jinping's words literally? Or is there many to I read between think... the lines? Well, Xi Jinping's message on Ukraine talks of sovereignty, right? Then we are not exactly the best, uh, what shall I say, advertisement mm. for that. So, no. There is a lot, which you have to do a lot of reading between the lines. But the fact remains that, you know, this is China on a huge diplomatic push in talking of bringing in a peace deal. There's all the camaraderie with with, uh, with President Putin. Hmm. And there's the kind of treatment that he's managed to, he's got in, in, uh, in Moscow. I mean, we've got such interesting details that he has a seven room suite and a personal chef and all the rest of it. Hmm. And finally, there's this, his article in Pravda and Putin's article in the other side. He's in the first thing we did we saw is that he's invited Putin back to Beijing. Hmm. So it's all this this pose of neutrality. I think is now done with. It's not really neutral, but they are now solidly with China, with Russia. Hmm. In however, in also trying to get a peace deal. I mean, if you remember. Uh, one of the things which China wanted was that the grain initiative to continue. Mm. And just three days before she landed, that that was agreed to by Moscow. So that's very important for everybody. Mm. So I'd say there's a bit of a... I mean, there's Chinese interests primarily. And then, of course, is the backing of Russia, which we have to see, which of course affects us mm. also. It's going to be a very, very difficult, a very strong balancing act which we're going to have to do. Mm. But uh, now, Vladimir, this Russia-China Bonhomi is this trying to bring back the Cold War uh, nexuses or the Cold War formations, especially at a time when Xi Jinping talks of a multipolar world, indicating that no, we are not trying to create two poles or the axis, uh, you know, as 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 it was in the Cold War. Also, Putin has gone to Mariupol and come back. I, you know, China, when China talks of multipolarity, what it's talking of is a pole for itself. That is his version of multipolarity. Mm. But then, the is it a, is it a sort of a Cold War return? Not, not really. I wish it were that simple. I don't think it is. Mm. Because you have this large power now, you know, absolutely tied with Russia, who, remember, whatever its economic status, still retains its nuclear weapons. Mm. And this is the outcome of the Ukrainian war, which for us means that Russia, which we counted on to be our kind of, you know, back mm. us in a lot of things, which it has in the past. Well, you can't be too, too sure of that now, can you? Mm. So that's why I said it's a, it's a and put it in Mariupol, that is it's a, it's a kind of a, he is talking of peace. He's right. saying he's open to negotiations. But then the International Criminal Court, court by, you know, calling him out, you kind of put a, you closed a door in his face. So I don't, I don't see any, any push from the West to kind of end this. I don't right. see that at all. Hmm. Well, for final question to you. Uh, do you. Do you see the map of Ukraine being redrawn? Is there going to be any backing off? Because Putin is not going to give up what he's picked up. He wants to uh, draw that line, connect the Russian mainland with Crimea and also take control of Sea of Azov at the Black Sea. There's been attacks on Crimea now by Ukraine. There's been a drone strike on a Russian train. So do you see it escalating or do you see some de-escalation in the near future? I am very much afraid it's not going to de-escalate. I mean, unless President Biden can 
insist on Zelensky that he has to talk to. I mean, which I right. I don't see that happening, right? right? Putin is not going to withdraw. That is just not going to happen. Hmm. And if you see China's peace plan, which they've drawn up, there's no mention of withdrawal. They're Correct. talking of sovereignty, blah blah, all the rest of it. I mean, the the recent article. Sorry, not right. the peace plan. The recent article, no mention of Russia. No, nobody knows the fine so, prints. We'll have to wait for the details. I've run out of time, Dr. Tarkarta. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure speaking with you. With that, we call it a wrap on this edition of The Right Stand. Stay with us. Short break and brass tacks follows.